say I win all the time and I'm not ashamed of winning all the time that's him manifesting himself in your life the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrot thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe and if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us well we're gonna be talking about how to win second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 2 this kind of lays the groundwork of where we're going here then there came some that told Jehoshaphat saying there cometh a great multitude against thee it seemed like it was an impossible situation so what did he do well he sought the Lord and Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all of Judah look down at verse 12 oh our God wilt thou not judge them for we have no might against this great company that comes against us neither know we what to do but we put our eyes upon thee so obviously the size of the army and the situation was too big for them mm -hmm. they couldn't just fight them in the natural mm -hmm. they would have been outnumbered yes. and they also said uh, we don't know what to do you see that neither know we what to do does that sound like a pretty standard situation mm -hmm. you've got a situation that's too big for you and you don't know what to do you ever find yourself there yeah. well if you don't know what to do and the situation is too big for you it looks like you're not gonna be a winner you'll end up losing yeah. or you're gonna have to have something that's stronger than that situation on your side mm -hmm. say on my side, on my side. and know what to do yes. verse 14 then upon Jehaziel came the Spirit of the Lord say the Spirit of the Lord, Spirit of the Lord. who would that be Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost the Holy Ghost came in the midst of the congregation and he said hearken ye thus saith the Lord unto you be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude for the battle is not yours but God's Say the battle's not mine, the battle's not mine. but God's. Okay. Now, if you can get now, you got God on your side. The scale is now tipped in your favor. Mm -hmm. Talking about how to become a winner or how to win. If you're going to win, you need the scales tipped in your favor. Yes. Verse 17: You shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. Now, if the Lord's with you, you win. Mm -hmm. Say, if the Lord's with me, Lord's with me. I, win. I win. Now, let's look into this a little bit. Who is the Lord? He's the Holy Ghost is he a winner or is he a loser he's a, winner. he's a winner so if he's with you I'm a winner so the battle is not yours but the Lord's who's gonna win that battle the Lord is gonna win that battle so we need to learn how to make it his battle and not ours if it was just Jehoshaphat's battle they would have lost are you here yes because they they had no ability to come against that enemy by himself but once the Lord got involved it became the Lord's battle and he doesn't lose there's no losing with him say there's no losing with him because he doesn't lose so we need to figure out how to make it his battle and not ours win some lose some no if it's his battle you win 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 you know they like to say a win-win I like to say win 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 <laughs> he is a winner who's a winner the Holy Ghost is say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is, is a, winner. a winner and if it's 
his battle mm -hmm. who wins he wins. he wins every time every time, every time. Yeah. Jeremiah 32 17 ah Lord God behold thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretched out arm and there is nothing too hard for thee there was nothing too hard for thee what would that make thee a winner, a winner. Yes. right mm -hmm. whenever you want to mm -hmm. there's nothing too hard for you oh there's a situation I don't know if I can win it no I can win it because mm -hmm. it's not too hard for me and if we're talking about the Holy Ghost being God in the earth today there's nothing too hard for him Genesis chapter 18 verse 11 now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women verse 12 therefore Sarah laughed within herself saying after I am waxed old shall I have pleasure my Lord being old also verse 14 is there anything too hard for the Lord at the time appointed I will return unto thee according to the time of life and Sarah shall have a son again he's saying is there anything too hard for the Lord you need to get this established in you because you know you may be looking at a situation that seems impossible according to you but with the Lord if if the Lord's in the situation the battles not yours but the Lord's and there's nothing too hard for him is there anything too hard for the Lord no Isaiah chapter 40 verse 13 who is directed the Spirit of the Lord or being his counselor hath taught him with whom took he counsel and who instructed him and taught him in the path of judgment and taught him knowledge and showed to him the way of understanding obviously no one mm -hmm. verse 15 behold the nations are as a drop of a bucket we would say a drop in a bucket the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance think about it think about a balance it's got balance on one side one on the other does the dust on the balance affect the balance generally dust you just blow it off it wouldn't wouldn't really even affect it you understand say it doesn't even affect it it has no effect on what the Lord is going to do when he puts his weight in the balance mm -hmm. the nations are like that say the nations, the nations. are like dust, like dust on a balance, on a balance. who's a winner the Lord is a winner mm -hmm. I don't care how much dust you have verse 17 all nations before him are as nothing he said before they were like they were like dust mm -hmm. which has little to do with anything right mm -hmm. and then he says they're like nothing say they're like nothing, they're like nothing. talking about the Spirit of the Lord and, and him being a winner all the nations before him are as nothing and they are counted to him as less than nothing <laughs> who are we talking about we're talking about the Spirit of the Lord who is actually in the earth today who is with you who is obviously a winner Amen. and I mean the nations we'd be thinking oh nations well Jehoshaphat was there nations were coming against him mm -hmm. what were they to the Lord nothing mm -hmm. less than nothing and vanity if I associate with him the Spirit of the Lord mm -hmm. I associate with him he's with me I'm with him mm -hmm. then I've already won mm -hmm. did we understand who the Lord I mean I could go on and on with scripture after scripture showing that there's nothing too hard for him mm -hmm. he's the greatest being he's the creator of heaven and earth he knows how it works nobody instructed him in how it works he says the nations and everything in them are less less than nothing in vanity right. if I associate with him 
I've already won. They have already won. won. I've got to get you here. Do you understand this? So what does that make you? A winner. All the time. As long as you're with him. So if I associate with him, and we're talking about the Holy Ghost, who is God in the earth today, if I associate with him, I've already won. Say, I've already won. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. Now thanks be unto who? God. God. Thanks be unto God, which always causes us. Thanks be unto God, God who? God the Holy Ghost, which caused it. Because if, if you're being caused to do anything or be anything in the earth, we're talking about the Holy Ghost. Now thanks be unto God, which, what is that word? Always. Sometimes? No, always. Always causes us to triumph. What is triumph? Win. To win. God, the Holy Ghost, always causes us to win. Is this in your Bible? Yes. Here, the Holy Ghost is always causing us. Why would that be, by the way? If He's causing you to do something, it is never going to be to lose. That's right. That would be against his own word and against his own nature mm -hmm. only always above over now thanks be unto God which always causes us say which always causes us, always causes us. To, triumph, to triumph to win in Christ and makes manifest mm -hmm. the savor of his knowledge by us in every place when when here in every place when there well but over here when mm -hmm. over here when because he's making manifest the knowledge of him what is he making manifest the triumph mm -hmm. say he makes manifest, he makes manifest. The, triumph the triumph in my life, in my life. Why? Why would he do? Because that's who he is. He can't do anything but that. That's who he is. Mm -hmm. If he's a winner, and we've already established that, hopefully, mm -hmm. and he's manifesting in your life, that means you win. We win. Mm -hmm. What if everybody's against you? Yeah. We still win. That's like dust. Oh, you mean the dust's against me? Yeah. Oh, you mean the drop in the bucket? against me he calls them less than nothing right. mm -hmm. so he's making manifest what is he making manifest in your life he's making manifest the triumph he's making manifest the winning yes. that's what triumph means mm -hmm. so we're winning in every place make manifest that of you in every place mm -hmm. say in every place in every place that means here and there mm -hmm. and everywhere win mm -hmm. say I win all the time, I win all the time. and I'm not ashamed of winning all the time that's him manifesting himself in your life yes. let's see how God does it the winning well how does he do everything with words how, what did he create everything out of words so how is he actually gonna win with words even when he came to Joseph at he said when you go out tomorrow you won't have to do anything the battle is not yours it's mine what was that words Ezekiel chapter 12 verse 25 for I am the Lord I will speak and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass is he gonna speak words of failure I've never seen him do it he speaks words of winning and triumph in fact he said he will always cause you to triumph for I am the Lord I will speak and the words that I shall speak 
shall come to pass mm -hmm. that's how he do say that's how he do, that's how he do. so we can see here that he calls it a certain way and it comes to pass it comes to, say when God calls it when God calls it, it, it comes, to pass. comes to pass Isaiah chapter 46 verse 9 for I am God there is none else I am God there is none like me can we agree with that yes. you suppose this would have something to do with him being a winner all the time if he were to come up with up against someone who pretended to be God mm -hmm. who's gonna win him because he's God there's none like him mm -hmm. right yes. verse 10 declaring the end from the beginning so how does he do it he declares the end from the beginning mm -hmm. remember he said I'm gonna say my word and that word will come to pass he declares what he wants at the end from the beginning when it doesn't look like it's that way he's calling it that way Amen. that's how God does it that's how God wins are you here that's how he do well if we want to be with him that's how we do Amen. if we want to win like he wins say if I want to win, win like he wins, like he wins. I, have to do I have to do like he do the battle is not yours it's the Lord's learn to put the pressure on him and get it off of yourself mm -hmm. he said it's not your battle it's his so learn how say learn how learn. learn how to take that pressure off you and put it on to him because it's his battle mm -hmm. and he wins yes. if you put the pressure on you you might lose Abraham Sarah couldn't have kids mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and they were old looked like it couldn't happen and they tried things and that didn't work out so well mm -hmm. so he had to learn how to take the pressure off of him to make it happen because he couldn't make it happen mm -hmm. it was beyond him but there's nothing too hard for the Lord Rom Romans chapter 4 verse 17 as it is written I have made thee the father of many nations now when he said that to Abraham was Abraham the father of many nations he had to start associating with what God said mm -hmm. and when he began to associate with what God said he began to win as it is written I have made thee the father of many nations before him or like him whom he believed even God who quickens the dead and calls those things that be not as though they were God was calling things that be not didn't look like it as though they were and it said like him like who like God Abraham began calling things that be not as though they were what's happening here Abraham is beginning to agree with the Holy Ghost with what he said and he began to win Amen. are you here if you don't agree with what the Holy Ghost is saying then you won't win because he's gonna win he wins every time Amen. and when we get him on our, our side or when we begin to associate with him and his words we begin to win and that's our destination is winning all the time triumphing first John 5 4 for whatsoever is born of God loses all the time is that what it says nope whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world and this is the victory what is victory by the way winning, winning. what is overcoming winning whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world and this is the victory that overcomes the world even our faith where'd you get faith from by the way just make it up 
faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God so your faith came by the word of God it says our faith it's not your faith it becomes your faith but it's our faith it's his faith and your faith our does that make sense yes well this is how you do you got your faith from him whatever he said had the faith in it that became your faith the thing he said wins say the thing he said, the thing he said wins. wins whether it's over sickness whether it's over poverty whether it's over a circumstance or situation whatever he said wins mm -hmm. and when I agree with it I win our faith yeah. so this is how I do I agree with him and it's his faith and it's his word on the line that brings it to pass see I think people miss it so many times as they think they're having to believe oh, I gotta believe oh if I don't believe no the belief comes through his word he's the one on the line mm -hmm. just keep saying his word putting his word out there you'll change after a while your thinking will change your believing will change why because his word is changing you as well as your situation this is how I do it I agree with him and I'm a winner Amen. say I agree, I agree. with him yeah. and I'm yeah. a, winner. a winner we win Amen. Every time. the things he says will come to pass remember we read that the things he says will come to pass if I'm in agreement with saying the things that he says I'm walking in with him by saying those words those things come to pass and I'm a winner mm -hmm. if I say by Jesus stripes I'm healed and that's what I keep in my mouth and I keep saying by Jesus stripes I'm healed I'm associating with him and his word and those things come to pass mm -hmm. and it makes me a winner mm -hmm. and winning in that situation is being healed Luke chapter 1 verse 37 for with God nothing shall be impossible for with God nothing shall be impossible remember it's not you it's not your battle mm -hmm. if it's your battle you might win you might lose if it's his battle because you're with God nothing is impossible you win does this make sense yeah. so being with him means being with his word being with he does things with his word he says his word so when we get in agreement with his word we're with him mm -hmm. and nothing is impossible mm -hmm. nothing is impossible to you Hebrews chapter 13 verse 6 so that we may boldly say the Lord is he's with you so you can boldly say something why would you boldly say something because that's how you get in agreement with him you boldly say the Lord is my helper I shall not fear what man shall do unto me the Lord is my helper I boldly say who is your helper by the way the Lord is the Holy Ghost he's with you will never leave you or forsake you you have to boldly say that he is your helper if you boldly say he's your helper he's on your side that's how we transfer that pressure that's on you to him mm -hmm. because the battles not yours it's his mm -hmm. that's your association with him and when you associate with him you associate with a winner and you win positionally you've already won somebody just heard that when I say that the Lord is my helper you've already won say the Lord is, the Lord my, is helper. my helper I've already, I've already won. won it's a done deal are you here yes this is what happens you know I I wish I could get this across to people and I try week after week after week but when I sit here and I get myself in agreement with his word and it may take a while 
it didn't just say to say it once if you say the Lord is your helper one time you'll become a winner no is that what it said no you have to say say continually the Lord is my helper but I've found out that if I will say continually a scripture pertaining to a situation at some point positionally say positionally, positionally. I become that thing I have won in that situation mm -hmm. you understand I've already won as soon as I start associating with him mm -hmm. but as I say it whether it's for healing or prosperity or anything else that I'm believing for all of a sudden something happens and it's just like it's a done deal it's because he's already won it he's already said it it took a period of time for Abraham to get in line with I'm the father of many nations but as soon as he started positioning himself with I'm the father of many nations in his mouth it was as if it would are as was already done but there came a period of time where it was done right. mm -hmm. just dropped in him like that's it doesn't matter what comes against you it's as if it were nothing mm -hmm. it's as if the situation were nothing because now he's on your side it's his battle are you getting this mm -hmm. makes me happy because mm -hmm. I know I just need to I just need to get myself in line with him I prefer to win say I prefer, I prefer to, win. to win well how are you gonna do it get in association with him right. and his words which is how we do it I hope I'm getting this across now we're talking about the Holy Ghost and we're talking about how to win and we know that if we associate with him and we boldly say things about him we win yes. right because we're getting in agreement with him what is the first thing that the Holy Ghost had them do when they first received him they began to speak mm -hmm. boldly say yep. what are they boldly saying other tongues as he gave them utterance they're boldly saying words what was that making them associated with him and they began to win mm -hmm. why because they're they're boldly saying his words mm -hmm. Is this too difficult I'm just trying to bring you up to speed here that when you're speaking in tongues you're speaking the words he gives you and it's much like declaring the scriptures right because those are words the known word of God so you're speaking for things and you can do it boldly mm -hmm. uh, Romans chapter 8 verse 26 likewise the spirit also what helps, helps. the Lord is our helper right likewise the Spirit helps the Spirit of the Lord the Spirit Lord helps say the Spirit Lord, the Spirit Lord. Helps. helps helps our infirmities the word infirmities could mean a whole bunch of different things it means weakness it means inability it means lack shortcomings what if there was a large army coming up and you didn't have enough guys to come out and meet them or beat them or win what would that be that would be a shortcoming that would be an infirmity mm -hmm. likewise the spirit helps we can boldly say something that the spirit will help us mm -hmm. and make that thing look like it's nothing but dust mm -hmm. helps our infirmities for we know not what we should say for as we ought he's specifically telling you that that's your infirmity you didn't know how to say for as you ought wouldn't that make sense mm -hmm. if this is how God does things and you need to be in agreement with him mm -hmm. you didn't know exactly how to say for as you ought mm -hmm. but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us or with us with groanings which cannot be uttered in your regular language mm -hmm. what do we know that to be talking about other tongues mm -hmm. the Spirit helps you to say the things that you didn't know how to say in other tongues that's what he's saying mm -hmm. so you can speak in agreement boldly with him mm -hmm. and that helps your infirmity that brings you up from being inadequate mm -hmm. to more than enough
from being the loser to the winner Amen. speaking in agreement and he that searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the spirit because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of god and so we're doing that we're praying in tongues we're praying the perfect will of god something beyond even what we know our mind is telling us yeah. he's helping our infirmities our weaknesses our lack our inability mm -hmm. and verse 28 and we know that all things work together for good for us mm -hmm. well every a lot of people like to quote that verse 28 but they didn't get there the right way mm. if you go from verse 26 and learn how to speak in agreement with him then you can know that's the promise you would know and have the knowledge of all things working together for good for you what would that be him on your side working all things that happens to be the working of miracles in your situation him doing something that you couldn't do by yourself say all things, all things. working together working together. For, good for good for me speaking as he gives you utterance that's what Acts chapter 2 verse 4 says they began to speak as he gave them utterance right yes. that speaking in agreement with him and spe specifically in other tongues we're talking about right now is getting him involved mm -hmm. in your situation it's getting in agreement with him and he gets involved in your situation mm -hmm. what happens you win how do you know you win verse 28 we know that all things work together for good that came after the speaking in agreement well he's a winner and when I speak his words it makes him involved in my situation and I become a winner he tips the balance towards you to win every single time mm -hmm. now some of the old-time Pentecostal people they'd use this saying they'd say you got to pray through mm -hmm. you ever heard that yeah. you got to pray through pray in tongues enough until you have the victory you know they even say that do you have the victory well I got the victory what do you mean the victory I've prayed enough in other tongues to know say to know no. that all things are working together for good for me I've been there a hundred times and plan on being there more a hundred times more mm -hmm. how did that happen how do you get to the place to know that all things are working together for good for you that that thing that's in front of you that looks insurmountable right now is actually less than nothing mm -hmm. it's a drop in the bucket it's a grain of dust mm -hmm. and we know that all things work together for good I prayed through I spoke in agreement enough to have that thing look like nothing because of the God that's with me who can do everything is this making sense mm -hmm. well, I don't know well then you have not spoken enough mm -hmm. well we've not been using the gift of speaking in tongues the way we should have we can know the power of all things working together for good yeah but I don't know I don't know well then you're not done speaking yet keep going mm -hmm. keep speaking keep confessing the scriptures keep speaking in other tongues and there will come a point when you know you have the victory he causes us always to triumph he's always causing us to triumph mm -hmm. he's always causing us to say the words that need to be said to triumph we play until we win mm -hmm. we say until we win yes. mm -hmm. so it's after we've prayed in tongues and spoken in agreement with him that we can boldly say that all things work together for good for me what's that called winning 
when all things work together for good for you you have begun to win God has not designed you to lose he's designed you to win let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people are winners and that you're causing them to triumph in all things and winning shall come to them and it shall become a new way of life winning only winning 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 in every situation so don't be discouraged or dismayed but keep your eyes on the Lord and he will show you the way and how to win and overcome in that situation we thank you for it Holy Ghost in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I thank you that you are causing me to triumph and be a winner financially I thank you that great things are moving in my direction right now and I shall win in Jesus name Amen Holy Ghost your God